Thank you, Chairman Schiff. I want to ask a few questions of Mr. McCarthy regarding the opening of the counterintelligence investigation and protocols of notifying Congress, protocols that were not followed. Um, we know now that the FBI opened its counterintelligence investigation into the Trump campaign in July 2016, but they did not brief the Gang of Eight until March 2017, just days before former FBI Director Comey publicly announced the investigation during a March 20th, 2017 open hearing before this committee. So my question to you, Mr. McCarthy, is conveying sensitive information such as the opening of a counterintelligence investigation into a political campaign is exactly what quarterly briefings from the FBI to the Gang of Eight are intended for. Is that correct? I believe so. I don't see what would be the point of having the Gang of Eight. I agree with you. Do you think that the FBI director, in this case, Director Comey, should have been allowed to decide when a CI investigation is, quote unquote, too sensitive for the Gang of Eight? I don't think the FBI director should do that because otherwise you can't have congressional oversight. I agree with you with that as well. So you would agree when I say that the FBI should not get to pick and choose which investigations, particularly those focused in a U.S. political campaign, are briefed to Congress? I, I think that's true, and I think from what I understand from Director Brennan, he thought that he was obliged to, to comply with his Gang of Eight disclosure requirement. Um, is it appropriate for the FBI, in your opinion, to publicly announce the subject of an ongoing counterintelligence investigation in an open setting before fully briefing Congress on the matter? No, I don't think the uh, counterintelligence investigations are classified. I don't think the FBI, when it can, should ever confirm the existence of an investigation. Counterintelligence investigations classified, that's like a double no-no. And there's no reason that I can think of to announce publicly the subject of such an investigation. Or to say that there be an assessment at the end of crimes being committed. We know now that Director Comey failed to follow established DOJ procedures during the conduct of this investigation. In your opinion, why do you believe that Director Comey decided to publicly announce the investigation in March 2017 instead of following the protocol and immediately briefing the Gang of Eight during his quarterly briefings? Um, I know Director Comey for 30 years. I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, and I think he goes about, uh, in my experience, he went about his business in, in good faith. I'm sure if he had a reason if he did something, he probably thought he had a good reason for it. I don't agree with whatever the reason was, but I can only assess what he did. I can't get into his head. I want to highlight that I've introduced legislation requiring the briefings to the Gang of Eight, to congressional leadership, when there is an opening of a counterintelligence investigation of a federal campaign. We deserve to know this. It is clear that in this case in 2016, the process and procedures were circumvented. This should have been briefed to the Gang of Eight. Um, and uh, I think that's one of the critical questions that we need to continue asking in our oversight, uh, oversight capacity. So with that, I yield back. Before I, I um, yield to Mr. Christian Murthy, I, I do want to mention, um, and this is through no fault uh, of Ms. Stefanik, the, while I can't comment on the Gang of Eight briefings, the contents of the Gang of Eight briefings, the, the timeline you've set out is not correct. But I can tell you that um, once James Comey was fired, uh, we no longer uh, continued to get Gang of Eight briefings on this constellation of counterintelligence investigations, and we have not had one since, which is a real problem. Yep. Um, and to this date, uh, we have requested uh, from the FBI and from the director a briefing on the status of the counterintelligence investigations. We do not know to this date whether they are ongoing. Uh, we do not know whether any of them have been closed. We do not know uh, what those findings are, but we are determined to find out. Um, will, will the chairman yield? Yes. 
Regarding the timeline, it was clear in the open hearing in, the, in front of this committee that Director Comey testified that he chose not to brief the Gang of Eight on the opening of the counterintelligence investigations. This has been widely reported. This was an open hearing, and we've worked across the aisle on language to be included in the Intel Authorization Act to ensure that any counterintelligence investigation in a presidential campaign is briefed. So I hope you would agree, based upon the testimony of Director Comey, that he circumvented the process. And in our oversight capacity, I agree with you. We need to have an update to make sure that they're following those procedures. But I think we need to strengthen um, not just the, the typical way of doing things, but put it in law so that they are required to brief us. Mr. Bonnick, I, I would only say that uh, that was not his testimony, um, that the first time that he was briefing the counterintelligence investigation uh, to us was uh, contemporaneous with his disclosing it to the public. I did not say that in my statement. Will the gentleman yield? I said yes. days before. So and, in and, March and, of 2017. And the, and the representative is not accurate, and, and, but I cannot go into... The timeline, but I, ca I can't say that that's not accurate. I hope the members of the public would go back to Director Comey's testimony and follow the facts and, and just look at his direct testimony to this committee, which stated that he did not follow the proper protocols and procedures of briefing congressional leadership on the opening of the counterintelligence investigation. And I yield back.